Simha Kriya. In these unusually challenging times of a global pandemic, having a robust immune system and a well-functioning respiratory system becomes of paramount importance. Ancient yogic techniques are known to have many benefits for the body, mind and energies. Here is an offering from Sadhguru, a yogi, mystic and visionary. Sadhguru offers Simha Kriya, a simple but powerful yogic practice to boost the immunity and enhance our lung capacity. This practice can be done by anyone with a few exceptions specified in the practice instruction video especially for those who do not have any other powerful process to support their system during these times simha kriya can be extremely beneficial sadguru will be giving the instructions it is important that you receive these instructions properly please dedicate the next 10 minutes exclusively for this process please do not attempt the practice while watching the video first Listen to the complete instructions and then attempt the practice on your own. So this is a simple practice, this is not uh, relevant to people who are doing Shakti Chalana Kriya. It's not necessary to do this, uh, but it could be done if you're doing Shakti Chalana Kriya in the morning, in the evening, you can do it or in the afternoon if you're hungry enough, you can do it. Otherwise, for those of you who do not know any other powerful process, this will help. One thing is, it will enhance your lung capacity. Another thing is, it will enhance your immunity. And above all, if you can do it today, if you can do it for next five days, and suddenly one day you're not able to do it, this means definitely you got some respiratory problem. It may not be this particular virus, but it could be anything else, it doesn't matter what it is, you must have yourself checked if you suddenly find you're not able to do it. What it involves is that you have to fully stretch your tongue out with your mouth fully open and then breathe as powerfully as possible without jerking the abdomen, but powerful pushing in and pushing out, both inhalation, exhalation, twenty-one times. And when it is done, you roll up your tongue upward, push it as further back as you can. You don't have to use your hands, it's not a good time to use your hands <laughs> So roll up your tongue fully as much as you can by itself like… And still with your mouth open, again breathe the same way, inhalation, exhalation as powerfully as possible, but you must get the sound by making a constriction in your throat like this <sighs> The sound must be there, it's important that you make… form a constriction at the throat level… at the pit of your throat and make the sound An inhalation, exhalation, fully exhaling, fully inhaling as powerfully as you can but without jerking the abdomen another twenty-one times with the tongue rolled up. Throughout the whole process you have your eyes closed you inhale fully, you inhale fully and simply sit there with the fullness of breath for one minute. If you are beyond a certain age or your breathing is not that good, at least thirty seconds. If you are not able to do one minute, a minimum of thirty seconds you stay there. When the day you are not able to do it, you must understand that there is some problem with your respiratory system and you must go for a checkup. Right now, she will demonstrate.
So what's being done is, uh, one has to sit in a cross-legged posture, whichever way you can, whatever your body permits, and then use both the arms to push it up in such a way that your rib cage lifts off the diaphragm region, fully pushed up, and now extend your tongue fully out. Like this twenty-one times, when it's done, then close your mouth, that also twenty-one times, then close your mouth. You exhale with your mouth closed, making the sound at the pit of your throat by creating a constriction. And then if you wish to sit quietly for some time with your eyes closed, do that, and then you can do whatever you're doing. This is a simple practice that anybody could do. You ensure your stomach is not too full, you must be somewhat hungry. Even if you are not totally empty stomach, at least you must be somewhat hungry kind of situation. Uh, hmm? So, uh, this is a simple practice, particularly those of you who are exposed either because you are medical personnel or you're police or you're in some other service where you're exposed to infected people. Please make sure you do this, this will make a lot of difference for you. The practice instructions will be available online for your reference. Please do the practice exactly as instructed. Do not make any changes or modifications to it, such as increasing the count. Anyone between 6 and 70 years of age can do this practice, regardless of their physiological and medical conditions. Those below 6 years of age and those above 70 years of age can do the practice too, but they must do the breathing 12 times only, not 21 times. People who have or have had any kind of tumor in the brain or hemorrhage of the brain can do the practice but they must do the breathing 12 times only, not 21 times. For more details visit the website.